very good evening. So it's not every day you get to take a Viper out. Certainly in Suffolk, we had a conversation just before we went live. And I think there's a handful of Vipers that are registered in the UK. So this is probably the most exciting competition that I think we've done. Um, maybe not everyone will agree, but certainly I think it's the most exciting competition we've ever done. Uh, so this time next week, literally this time next week, this car will be launched. So it's a very exciting car for us to launch. Um, and the reason why we're launching it next, next week and the reason why we're out here is you never really see this side of bridge. Um, so that's why we thought we'd just come out here sort of in the sunshine, not raining, which is good. Um, to tell you something that's also, also that's happening next week as well. But is there anyone tuned in? Yeah, Donald agrees with us. He says that's awesome. I assume he's talking about the Viper, it's, not your um, It's amazing. Machine. It's beautiful. I mean, I love driving it. And here she is. So literally two weeks time-ish, this could be on your driveway. I don't know if I can divulge how much the competition is going to cost at the moment, but bear in mind, something to possibly think about is this car at the moment, there's about three or four of them for sale in the UK, if that and they're upwards of 50, 60,000 pounds. So imagine, you know, not everyone has got 50, 60,000 pounds to spend on a car. And if you did, perhaps you wouldn't go for the monster that is the Dodge Viper RT10, but you'll have this for a very, very small amount of money. Uh, someone just, will win it. Just want to say evening to everyone watching. Nigel Walker's watching, uh, Tim's watching. Hello, hello guys, thanks hello. for joining us. Right, so the reason why we're outside is also happening next week. So it's actually going to be next Sunday, which is the 31st of July every single field you see here so this is the entrance to bridge classic cars so every single field that you see here will be covered in cars supercars um, vintage cars classic cars modern cars motorbikes uh, there's a chap over there who's got a helicopter i don't know if he's going to bring it but it's only the other side of the gate so it'd be brilliant if he does um, fire engines possibly military vehicles this all gets packed so a good year or so ago uh, we used to do our live draws from the hangar and on Sunday the 31st of July, that's where it will all start, is at the hangar, which is about five, 10 minutes away. And what is absolutely amazing is then all of the cars that start off there, all jump in together. They go on a convoy through, we live in a place called Woodbridge. Uh, they'll come through Woodbridge, out the other side, and we turn up here. It's a really, really good day. So if you fancy doing something next Sunday, come along it's incredible absolutely we'd love to see you there it's always great when people that have found us through our competitions come up to see us in in person we as can't well, wait. we go to lots of events we've so. only really done a couple of live um shows since we've had the competitions but the show's been going on for a good five or six years and it's grown year on year and we try and perfect it that a little bit more year on year as well so it's completely free to come you don't need tickets everything is on our website also on our facebook page um, so it's worth coming along, it's totally free, so let's go. But the reason why we're in this now, the reason why you're watching along is probably the Porsche 911, because that is going to be given away today. By the way, a Dodge Viper doesn't have door handles, if you're wondering. I learned that the hard way when we first got it. <laughs> but yes, we're in um, for the live draw of the Porsche 911 today. Um, last time we looked, there was just 200 tickets left and it's now as you can see by my watch it's three minutes past um, so you've got until 10 past seven to get your tickets so there's still chance now it may not sell out you know if there's 250 tickets still left then um, you've got better odds because you, you know there's gonna be 250 tickets that haven't got a name attached to them so it's worth just jumping in and getting those last minute tickets now if you're in the draw welcome very good luck um, it's a really, really special car. A lot Possibly. of people liking the Viper too. They're saying it's red as well, so it fits our bill. The last four or five cars have been it's red. perfect. I can't wait. Well, I sort of can't wait to give this away, but also I'm really sad because I absolutely love this car. Um, so it's an exciting one because someone's going to win it. You don't see these every day of the week, so certainly to have one on your driveway would be incredible. So that's, uh, that's next week. The next Thursday, I believe, we're going to be um, launching this. Uh, but it's worth mentioning, when we launch a car, we, um, we sometimes talk about it, we don't harp on about it too much, but it's worth just mentioning that on our website there is a little section where you can, you'll hear it now as we go into the building, where you can fill in your details. Um, and that adds to the database. Now we don't spam you with stuff, um, we don't bombard you with unnecessary information. We literally just tell you when exciting things are happening, like the car show, uh, like events when we come and do these live draws sometimes in an evening, um, then we obviously invite along people. But what it's crucial for is when we launch cars, because there's a couple of cars, obviously we've spoken about the Dodge Viper, 
but also there's another car that's going to be launched next week as well, even earlier than the Dodge Viper. And it's worth getting onto the mailing list because what's going to happen is the people on that mailing list are going to be told before anybody else, and they're also going to be told of a, of a voucher code, which is a very slight difference in price. You'll get a slightly better price for being on it. So it's well worth jumping onto that. Should we reveal what the car's going to be? Shall we? I think so. Okay, here we go. So we filmed it yesterday. It's a bit different this one because um, we had a couple of uh, people join us, Lucy and Lily, so you wouldn't have seen them drive the cars before they joined us. It was really good actually. Um, and that's in a different location to our normal location as well because we did that at a place called Helmingham Hall. So if you know this area or if you're certainly into your classic cars in this area, one of the biggest shows in the summer is Helmingham Hall show. And we can reveal that this will definitely be given away at Helmingham Hall, whether it sells out or not. I think it will. I mean, look at it. It's incredible. You can't really get m much more classic than a green MG. And that as is, Craig, sorry to, as right. you've touched upon with the B, that's car that there's going to be a discount code coming to the mailing list. So every now and again, cars Absolutely. will get a discount code. We can reveal on air now that this car is going to have a discount coming to the mailing list. So, so it won't, if you're not it won't be a list. sale. You sometimes see sale prices dotted about, like the Triumph um, Street Twin at the moment is on sale. Something like the MGB won't have a sale price attached to it, but if you're on that mailing list, you will get given a voucher code that you can use um, and makes it ever so slightly cheaper. So it's well worth getting on that and we won't hound you with unnecessary information as well. But we're here to talk about the Porsche 911. Two minutes left by my watch. Oh, okay, I've got four minutes left. Four minutes left. <laughs> Maybe it's somewhere in between. Between two and four minutes <laughs> left you've got on the, uh, the Porsche 911. So just before we came on air, um, there was 250 tickets. Bear in mind, an hour, hour and a half ago, there was six to 700 tickets left. So that amount has sold, but it may not. I mean, what, two to four minutes left, it probably isn't gonna sell all 250 if that's still what's available. Um, so it's well worth jumping on and getting your last minute tickets now. And if it doesn't sell out, that's fine too. There'll just be um, better chances of winning. It's worth mentioning. So what will happen is at 10 past seven, um, Nick jumps onto the computer and he generates um, a list, an entry list, and that will have everybody's ticket number and everybody's name on that entry list. Um, if not all of the tickets are sold, you'll see some numbers missing. So, because uh, a lot of people comment and sort of say, oh, my numbers are really high up. What if we don't sell that amount of tickets? It doesn't matter. So on this car, there is 4,750 tickets available. So less than 5,000 tickets, um, less than 5,000 odds to win this car, basically. So it's incredible odds. And if there's less than that sold, then there'll just be a few numbers missing. Then we just draw again. It's definitely going to be given away tonight, even if we have to be here forever. Absolutely. So John's asked very politely if he can see the interior of the MGB. Of course now, you we can. don't want to give away too much about this car because it's not live just yet, but it's so gorgeous, so I can't resist. British Racing Green. MGBs MGB. are always popular, but I mean, you can see the condition of this vehicle. You this can't is going to really fly. Get much, much more classic than this. It's a perfect car to win. Uh, we've got loads of really good things lined up at the moment. So obviously you've got the Porsche 911 um, tonight in a couple of minutes' time, say. Minutes time. Depends who's watch you're thinking. Nick, what's your, <laughs> what does your watch say? The official time, 7.08. I've got 7.08, so you need a new watch. <laughs> um, and then next is the MGB. So let me just say that again. So get onto the mailing list. If you go onto the homepage of the website, down the bottom there is a little um, bit that says give us your email. Uh, we don't hound you, and I, can't, I don't want to emphasise that enough. We don't send you pointless information that you don't need. We don't sell your data to anybody else. Um, so, so just jump on that, and then come Monday, Tuesday, when this is launched, you'll get an email to say, guess what, it's launched, and here's better price than what you would do if you're not on the mailing list. So it's well worth jumping onto that. Uh, also, we've got live at the moment, which was a couple of days ago, and it's selling really well, is um, the first proper road bike, I would say, the proper... Big it's a big bike. bike, isn't it? Big bike. A big boy's bike. But it's not a daunting Girl's bike. bike as well. I shouldn't say big boys. Not <laughs> it's not a daunting bike to ride, though, because I'm, I'm a, a novice motorcycle rider, but I jumped on it and didn't feel particularly scared by the throttle or anything like that. It's it was not, perfectly it's not pleasant too to heavy. It's a proper one. It's a 900cc, so it, it's exactly what you want it to be. So you have to obviously have a proper license to, to ride it. Um, but they made these to be the every everyday bike, really. It's very versatile, so it's definitely worth um, getting a few tickets for that. There's a lot of love for that bike. So it's about a third sold at the moment. Um, and that's, so we've not got a draw next week, which would normally be when the next one that's currently live would be on. Um, because like I say, on Sunday of next week, 
we've got the big show here. Um, so everything is opened up. You can walk around, you can see the workshops, you can stand in this building, you can meet all of the team. Um, there's gonna be some really, really nice food uh, on offer. There's gonna be some drinks on offer. Um, music but, too. Music on offer, oh yeah, so that's new. So we've got the three chordettes, which are a trio from the 1940s that are gonna come and do some um, music for us as well. So it's gonna be really good. And the best thing about it, you don't need to book. You don't need to get tickets. It'd be really cool if you can tell us that you come in, especially if you come in in a car, because then obviously next week we'll start to share some of the cars that are coming. But it's such an eclectic mix of, of people that have come in the past. So exactly, really and good. everyone's welcome, no matter what you're arriving in. We've had supercars, classic cars, people just turning up in everyday cars, no matter what you're bringing along. Well, a couple of years ago, we, we went to, um, so you've got the hangar, and then about halfway to here from the hangar, there's a coffee shop. Um, and there was two guys in the coffee shop that drove McLarens and they saw all of these cars. I mean, there must have been between two and 300 cars, I would have thought, in this convoy going through. It's really special to see. And then they just thought, well, don't know what's going on, but we'll jump in on the, on the back of this line. And they ended up coming here as well. So it's really cool. It's good to see Oliver saying he's going to come along in a 996 3.6 Porsche. Lovely. Perfect. Excellent. Well, we look forward to welcoming you, Oliver, and let us know if you guys are coming along. It'd be good to see as many of you as possible. At Absolutely. Our show. Yeah, so what's the time now? I actually make it 10 past now. Nick makes it 10 past now. You probably make it about half past on your watch. But um, so now the competition is no more tickets that can be bought for this car. So I don't know how many is left. Did we sell out or not? Or don't we know? Oh, there you go. 240 left. So there was 4,750 tickets to start with a week ago. Um, but there's 240 tickets left now. So if you're in the draw, you've got even better odds for this really special car. So a couple of, probably a couple of months ago now, we did the black 911, um, which sold out a week ahead of itself. Um, super popular. We knew it was going to be because we've been looking for a 911 for a long time. We found one and then we found this one. So this is pretty much untouched. We've had a few comments as well. It's worth mentioning, you know, little tiny imperfections on the car. Of course, it's 1970, it's 1979, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it 1979, is. of course it's gonna have a few little imperfections on it. We have cars here, or as you can see, we're a restoration company. We have cars here like the day they came out of the box. Little Eva in the corner is a really good example of, of something that's pretty much, probably better than what it was new. And then we have other cars that we look at sometimes, we stand back and go, does it really warrant having a load of money spent on it and a load of work spent on it? Or is it the kind of car that someone can jump in and enjoy? And it's not all about restorations that are like the day they came out of the box. We have cars in here that people use all the time. That's what's really important. And that's why we created competitions. We didn't do it for the super high value cars. Yes, we dropped them in now and again, but you've also got things like the MGB that the everyday person can jump in and take to the shops and enjoy for what they're supposed to be and, and you know, and create that life for them again. Well, on the note of MGBs, uh, Chris has just dropped us a comment who won the Iris Blue MGB saying that he's going to come to the show on Sunday Excellent. too. Excellent. So good. Look forward oh, to seeing wait you there, for that. Chris. So hopefully there should be a few competition winners as well. I know Carl Riley, I saw him earlier on. He won the, uh, the TR3. So he's going to be coming. He's got four cars um, and I think probably they're all going to be here. Um, but they're all really nice, they're all very different to each other. He hasn't really got a certain taste, but there's gonna be some really cool stuff here next Sunday. So, you know, make a day of it. Hopefully it's gonna be good weather. Right, man, it would be gutted if it starts raining now after the weather we've had over the last few days, but it's completely free to come. Don't need tickets. You don't need to tell us you're coming, but equally it'd be really good if you could. And then hopefully we'll see you next week for food and drinks and everything like that. So how are we getting on? We're doing all right? We're just making it now. Okay, so in a couple of minutes time, we'll be able to do the draw for our Porsche 911, which is an absolute stunner. Um, earlier on today, so it just goes to show how quickly we kind of try and work. So earlier on today, we delivered the, um, the Rapier, which was won last week. Yeah, Tom's just sent me through the photos of uh, the gentleman that won the car with that. So it's yet to go up onto the website, but it will do very soon. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so he's, well, he should be on his way back now. So Tom is one of our technicians. That's, the, that's something else probably to mention about the competitions. Um, they're delivered by us and they're delivered by one of our technicians. Um, it's normally Tom that does the deliveries in a nice covered trailer with Bridge Classic Cars written on the side. But the important thing is, is when it's rolled out the back, if there's any questions you need to know, if you're new to classic cars, like the Sunbeam last week, that was his first ever classic car. 
So you can roll it off the back and you can ask Tom and you know, Tom will know the answer. He'll know how to start it. He'll know the little bits you have to do to keep it going. So ask away. Um, we're always here to help and we're always the other end of the phone. Um, but I think the entry list is ready. Cool. Okay, so Porsche 911 time. Very exciting for a lot of people. It's a brilliant car, isn't it? There's a reason why they're so popular, and it is oh. the benchmark to which so many classics are measured because they're so good. They're iconic. just great, aren't they? Absolutely iconic. Okay, so this screen here mirrors this screen here, as you can see when I move that right and left, that moves right and left. So every single competition we've ever done has an entry list, um, and then there's a winner's section, so you can see the winners. Um, you, you know, there's nothing to hide on this. So if you go to the entry list here for the Porsche 911, you will see a big long list and as I say there was two or Nick said 240 ish tickets left so there will be 240 numbers missing down here uh, nothing to worry about if we pull one of them out and it's not there there's no name attached to it we basically just run the draw again so guys if you could let us know if you can see the, sc the screen nice and clearly um, we'll then run to the draw for the 911 okay so here is a big long list now, a few people say you can do the control F and find the number. We don't do that because we want to show you that all of the numbers are there. So it does take a little bit of time. Okay, got a few mm. comments coming through saying clear. Excellent. Okay, so we use clear. Google Random Number Generator. So there are 4,750 tickets, but we'll do a test. So we'll start at, say, 6,000 and we'll go to 9,000. You generate it, it brings up a number between 6,000 and 9,000. Won't be anything because there was only 4,750 in the draw. Cool, lots of comments through, coming through, sorry, lots of comments are now coming through saying it's clear. Thank you for that, guys. Excellent. Okay, so we'll bring it back to zero and zero. Takes it to zero. So are we ready? Let's do it. Okay, so one, that would be the first one, and four, seven, five, oh. Good luck, everyone. Okay, good luck, everyone. One, seven, six, six. Okay, 1766. Six. It's a bit fiddly, this bit, by the way. Okay. Okay, here we go. 17. We'll just check that. 1766 six was the number picked out for our 1979 Porsche 911 Targa. Very exciting. 1766 six is there, and it's Richard Smythe or Smith. Richard Smythe or what would you say? I would say Smith. I would have said Smythe. Smythe. Let's okay, know, Richard, so Richard Smythe or Richard <laughs> Smith has won with 1766. Congratulations, that is now your car. So well we will done, try Richard. and give you a call in a minute, Richard, and uh, hopefully you're watching along. There's a are. lot of people watching along live, so thank you to everyone that's watching along, along live. Richard, if you are watching, drop us a message. Um, if, if you're not watching, we're going to give you a call very soon to give you the good news. Uh, anyway, but and thank you as always to everybody who's participated and, and joined in the fun. That's what we try and do. And we're going to ramp things up in a couple of weeks' time with our lives, uh, change things, mix things up, try and do a bit more. There's loads of stuff coming up. So Richard is now the proud owner of his 1979 Porsche 911 Targa. Very exciting. He, I mean, hopefully he's watching. Is, is he commented? I've not seen a Richard just yet, so let us know if you're uh, watching. Right, a well, lot of people uh, wishing Richard well and saying well done, which is nice the, to see. That's really nice. You know, there's no bitter. There never seems to be any bitters. Obviously, if you're, if you, you know, you, you're adamant when you buy a ticket, it, this is your car. You know, you're dead certain that it's going to be you that wins. But you know, not everyone can win. But it's so nice that people comment and say, Congratulations. Really Darren's good. saying more Porsches. I mean, they're, they're always gone down really well. So I'm sure if there's another nice example that we come across, we'll do so. Never say never. Yeah, we love our Porsches here. Um, but for now, obviously, we can say goodbye to the Porsche 911 Targa, unless you're Richard. You're pretty excited right now. Next week, we've got the MGB Roadster. This Next is going to be so popular. I oh, can't overemphasize so. just how lovely this car is. We, we do... It's probably the most common car we give away, isn't it? The yeah. MGB. So yeah. uh, a, a green MGB in this sort of condition. Can't go wrong. You can't, you can't go, go wrong. So wrong. jump on the mailing list and you'll save yourself a bit of money on tickets on the MGB. Surely well. we're not going to get negative comments about the colour. You know, it, <laughs> You'd it's, like to it, think it's a colour that everybody, everybody loves. And then next week as well, we've got the super special Dodge Viper RT10. Again, very special car. Very different, but very, very special. Just to add, that MGB Roadster has always been that colour combination. Oh, it's original spec, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because we've got a massive history file that goes all the way back. 
Amazing. Showing that that was always British Racing Green with Black and Kiwi. Well, there you go. Some useful information. And this is Richard's number. Yes. And just before we phone Richard, live at the moment, because we haven't really mentioned it enough, is the Triumph Street, uh, Street Twin. Um, there's about uh, 30, 40% sold at the moment. Uh, that's going to be drawn in a couple of weeks' time. Very lovely bike. If you've got your license, then it's well worth get, grabbing a ticket for that. And it's on sale as well. So don't forget that. What is it, £3.50? £3.50, yeah. £3.50. Can't go wrong at £3.50. And I've lost, hang on, I've lost it. Sorry, I was rabbiting on. Should have just phoned them first, shouldn't I? And then <laughs> spoke about the bike after. So it's Richard. Okay, cool. Thanks. Come on. Smile or Smith? Smile. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Come on, Richard. Hi, is that Richard? Yeah. Richard, it's Craig at Bridge Classic Cars. How are you doing? You alright? I'm alright, how are you? I'm doing okay. Good, good. Can you talk? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, do you know why I might be phoning you? Um, uh, <laughs> if you're going to tell me I've won a Porsche, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's, uh, uh, really? Yeah, that's exactly oh, why I'm phoning you. I'm leaning on okay. your Porsche as we speak. So I'm guessing you weren't watching along. No, I've been, I, I fix medical equipment in hospitals and I've been a bit busy, so, um, oh. you're a I won't hold that against you, that's fine, and that's a better, that's a better reason not to be watching, yeah, so, I, um, I, I was, I was hoping to, but it just got busy, so. Don't worry about it, it's fine, and it's nice that you've answered, so congratulations, I'm standing beside your 1979 Porsche 911 Targa, um, this is I, now I, your I, car. I, I don't know what to say. It is absolutely I, amazing. I wanted one when I was nine, so... Oh, uh, really? Wow. Yeah, well, there you go. Car. Well, yeah. you've got one now, and it's a really Thank super special version of one as well, so congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. What, what, one question, is your surname Smith or Smythe? It's uh, Smythe. Okay, we got that right. Uh, that's right, I'm we got that right. We, we were guessing, but that's fine. So, yes, you're now the proud owner of a Porsche 911. So, whereabouts are you in the world? Uh, York. York, so, uh, okay. So we're down in Suffolk, so what will happen now is obviously I'll give you a call later on because we're live at the yes. moment, but this car okay. will be delivered to you very soon uh, and it'll be sitting on your excited. drive very soon. So um, a massive congratulations. Thank you. And you can go home and enjoy your dinner now. Thank you very much. Now take care, speak to you soon. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, there you go. That was wonderful, wasn't it? That's really nice. And the, uh, the winner of the Sunbeam Rapier has also been commenting along saying, uh, just been out for the car, just been out in the car, uh, love it so much, which is great Excellent. to hear so as well. Excellent, so he's had the car for about an hour and a half-ish. That's, um, that's how long he's been the proud owner of his Sunbeam, and probably this time next week, possibly, Richard, Richard will be doing the same Richard thing. Richard will be watching along, so, oh no, because we're not live next week, but he'll, he'll be, be in um, the Porsche. He'll be in the Porsche. If it was me, I'd be Yeah, he'll be in the Porsche, <laughs> yeah. uh, and I don't blame him, it's absolutely beautiful. So, um, just to wrap up very quickly, the Triumph uh, Street Swim is on sale at the moment, £3.50, so grab your tickets um, for that, because it's a very, very pleasant bike. It's really, really nice. It's, it comes with all the original history, as you'd expect. It's pretty much a brand new bike. Only so, a 1,000 miles on it, 2020 stunning. bike. It's stunning. And as well, one of our um, technicians, it's actually, it was his bike. So we know this from day one. Um, and it's been in very, very safe hands. So you're onto a good one with that. And at £3.50, you really can't go wrong. And then make sure you're on our mailing list, if you can be, um, because next week, next Tuesday, you'll be getting an email if you're on that mailing list with a special discount price on our MGV, which will be guaranteed to be drawn in a couple of weeks' time at a big show down here. And also next week, we've got the Dodge Viper. And then to wrap up, I'm giving you loads of information. Next Sunday, the 31st, if you're around, come along the doors are open here we're in Woodbridge in Suffolk we'll open both buildings at nine o'clock we'll be over um, at RAF Bent Waters um, you don't have to have a classic car you can come along and enjoy the day with us anyway but at nine o'clock we start over there at ten o'clock we all jump in our cars together and we come over to our main workshops where there'll be food there'll be drink and there'll be 1940s music from the three chordettes um, and you get to see the cars you get to meet us totally free don't need a ticket, you don't need to tell us you're coming, although it'd be nice if you are coming in the car to tell us so we can share it with everybody. Um, if not, we'll see you for the next draw, which will be in a couple of weeks' time now. So 
Enjoy your evening. Goodbye. <laughs>